We're going to have a look at what negative exponents mean. If we've got something like p cubed over p to the 4, we know what that means. At the top, we've got p times p times p, and at the bottom of the fraction, p times p times p times p. We could then go ahead and cancel out the three p's on the top with those on the bottom, and we'll see that what we'll get is 1 over p. But we've also just been dealing with that rule for division, that when we are dividing, we're going to subtract the exponents. So p to the 3 over p to the 4, using that rule, should be p to the 3 subtract 4, and that is p to the minus 1. Now, obviously, we don't want p cubed over p to the 4 to be able to be equal to two different things, and so that's why it makes complete sense for us to say that p to the power of minus 1 must be equal to 1 over p. Let's look at another example. For example, if we had p cubed over p to the 5, and we wrote out what that means, and then we did our cancellation, you will see that what we have left is 1 over p squared. But if we again apply the rule that we've established for division, we would have to say it would be p to the 3 minus 5. And that is p to the power of negative 2. And so, to keep things working nicely, we'd have to have that p to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over p squared. And so, in general, when we have a negative exponent, p to the power of negative n, it is equal to 1 over p to the n. And just a quick word of caution, again here we don't want p being equal to 0, because of course we can't divide by 0. So any other number is fine for p except for 0. Alright, so let's look at some numbers and see if we can make sense. So let's see what is the difference between having 10 to the power of negative 2 versus having 10 multiplied by negative 2. Well, 10 to the power of negative 2, when there's a negative in the exponent, it doesn't make the number negative. It simply tells you to go 1 over the number. So it's going to be 1 over 10 squared, and 10 squared is 100. So 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 100. In contrast, 10 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 20.